Jan E3. I love it, but it's a lot of work. I need something to to chill me out, man. It's 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 been a few days. You got something a little, you know, relaxing, creative, something I can sit back, not too emotional. <laughs> okay, well, I can almost tick all of those boxes minus the emotional part. Okay. Uh, for the last couple days, E3 has made me feel like this. Oh. But this game is going to make you feel like this, Danny. It it's Chicory, a colorful tale. Made Look by at that. our good friend Greg Lobanoff. He is the Greg there in the name. Uh, of course, the creator of uh, Wonder Swan. Wonder. That's what we're called. Wonder Swan. It's Wonder Swan. Right? Wonder. Wonder. Yes. Wonder. Yes. <laughs> Wonder. Uh, Wonder. Lena, also there, another friend of Giant Bomb, who worked yes. on the uh, awesome soundtrack to this game. Uh, it looks neat. Uh, how does it play? What, what are we doing here in the world of chicory? So, Danny, uh, the world Wonder of... Wandersong. 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 My, my brain finally found it. <laughs> in the world of chicory, uh, we control this little puppy here, and all of the color has been zapped from the world. Um, and we've taken it upon ourselves to wield the brush and be the new wielder and add color back into the world. Color like, you know, making sick tags, like... I don't know, let's let's throw one up for good old GB. Some fat block letters. Um, in my youth, I may or may not have participated in such oh, yeah? activities. Do you tag? Do you do tags? Do you ever do you ever do some pieces? Oh, I did some very poor tags because I'm very bad at drawing. <laughs> This was one of those, like, graffiti, doing graffiti is one of those things I was really upset that I was just bad at. <laughs> it seems like something anyone should be good at if they spend enough time doing it, but maybe that's what the video game is here to do. I mean, you're, this is your thumbnail create, creator right here. Yeah, this is, this is what we're going to use moving forward. You know that Duke Nukem uh, video that's on the, yes. the Giant Bomb YouTube channel? For now on, it's just going to be stuff like this. <laughs> um... But yeah, so I'm playing on Steam. This game, Chicory, A Call of Tail, is available on Steam, Epic Game Store, PS4, and PS5 at awesome. uh, $20. But I'm uh, playing with mouse and keyboard, and we're controlling uh, pizza rolls here, a little puppy, uh, with the keyboard and moving the brush independently with the mouse. So this kind of... I imagine it's a lot easier to play this game with a mouse and keyboard versus a controller. Uh, but you know, art is I subjective, bet. so anything can be beautiful. Totally, creative restrictions are also important, John. So maybe you'll you'll create art with a controller you never would have with uh, the freedom of a mouse and keyboard. That's true. Like if we only had this use of blue, what would we do with this blue? You know. Um, so we're actually ruining right this beautiful <laughs> color. <laughs> forest area. Uh, John, there's no getting around the fact that we, uh, we're, we're, we're kind of uh, we're, we're, we're flying without directions here because we already recorded this quick look. Yes. Um, so we're coming back in and we're not quite sure what's coming up next but it looks like a temple. Yes, it looks like a temple. Uh, you know, much like art, there's a lot of trial and error and I had a big error before this and uh, didn't record the audio for the game. Um, but anyway, um this is the world of Chicory. Let me pop open the map here. And everything is black and white uh, because the color has been zapped away from the world. But it's oh no. up to pizza rolls here. We've taken it upon ourselves to add color back in because the current wielder, Chicory, uh, they're uh, they're kind of going through it, you know? It happens. Creative minds, you know, they... they they sometimes get stuck. They need to like take a breather, figure some stuff out. Yeah. Uh, it looks like Pizza Rolls here, who you, you named yourself, right? That's not the given name of the character. Yes. Um, yes. The uh, the game opens with them asking you what your favorite food is. Um. And you know, I initially thought this would just be a coloring book game. You know, maybe you're just going to these different scenes and filling them in, but it's actually pulls a lot of inspiration from uh, Zelda. You know, you're going from screen to screens, and there's a lot of puzzles to be solved. Uh, like this one. Perhaps. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold the phone. I'll answer the phone. Oh. Oh my god. That's Agent Smith. <laughs> I was going to say, normally it's our parrots on the other line giving us helpful, comforting tips, but this is actually Chicory here. Oh. Hey, Chicory. What's going on? <laughs> um, 
just like oh. Wonder Song, this game has a lot of character, and this does a lot with very little. Um, the writing in this game has been pretty, pretty dang neat. There's a bunch of different NPCs, other villagers, other characters in the game that all have like a very distinct personality to them. Yeah, even the even the typeface seems to sort of change the animation on some of the text, like to give you a little bit more insight into maybe their age or personality or. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> there's even a couple characters that will speak like internet speak and be that person that goes oh, low no. in a real conversation. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> okay, so we got some imposter syndrome or pizza rolls, perhaps. Not yeah. sure if they should be wielding. We don't know if we're worthy. Yeah. See, enthusiasm. You know, enthusiasm sometimes helps. Chicory's going through like a little creative rut. That's okay. Oh, man. And so this whole game takes place in a sort of like, you mentioned Zelda before, like a sort of a, a hamlet, like a collection of villages with personalities and people yes. and you're helping them out and stuff. Yes. Uh, so, you know, we have this over, uh, this this grand quest of, of recoloring in the world and, and figuring out why the color got zapped away in the first place. But as we, you know, travel through the villages, our job as a new wielder, we're, um, we're, we're, we're adding color back in, but we're also helping the different folks around. All right, that was a that was a little bit of an intense call. It was, yeah, especially uh, when you're not expecting it. You know, I I can warm up to a call, but when it just comes out of nowhere like that, it's a lot. Uh, can you show us a little bit about the brush? Actually, it, it kind of has a bit of resistance, right? If you paint yeah. outside the lines. So, um, you could willy nilly just scatter around if you wanted to and just go hog wild with it. But if you want to be a little bit more precise, the brush actually uh, does a good job at, at adhering to surfaces. So say we only want to paint the top of this monolith here, and you kind of got to put more oomph to get it out of the lines. That's awesome. Um, and yeah, also everything we paint here, Danny, this was all persistent. This is all going to stay here unless we ourselves erase it. Um, and, you know, that... Soon in the game, soon enough, well, uh, all of that actually has an impact. You can uh, Splatoon style dip into the paint to dash across, so it it serves you well oh, to, to paint across everything. Uh, but say you do want to just like fill in everything one color. Oh, that's um, good. If you hold down on the brush, it'll just do an that's automatic good. fill. If you double tap, you'll do like these splotches here. Uh, but we got a little bit of a puzzle here. And if I, because I nuked my own save, uh, I <laughs> vaguely remember what is going on here. So uh, we have a grid of like four by four, but we Which also we have just this. we just did one of those right in, in the previous uh, quick look. <laughs> yes, so. the the quick look lost the time, um, but luckily I vaguely remember what we're doing. Oh, color in yeah. where the plants are. Yeah. Um. Great beauty. Okay. Uh, I know that we did a previous quick look uh, that is, is, is lost, but I also don't want to show off too much of this game. Uh, right. I don't want to spoil too... Oh. Feel oh. the truth. Um, I don't want to spoil too much of the, the puzzles or the uh, specific dialogue, because a lot of it is is really good. Uh, maybe we'll, we'll dip around this temple and we'll visit the village uh, where we were previously. Yeah, sounds good. Um... Okay. Oh, seek the nature of the brush. Okay. Uh, so as you progress through the game, you'll gain different abilities with your brush. You you deepen your bond to the art. So uh, you can wind up you'll wind up uh, developing new things like the splatoon thing that I mentioned, uh, as well as some other neat little abilities. Um, but your paintbrush, also besides painting the world, you interact with with certain things and it'll, it'll have an effect like for instance these little gas bubbles will uh, explode upon painting um, and you see this little crack here oh, yes yeah. because I've played a video game before I know yeah, you know in, in the first trick here they didn't actually show you the cracks this is just 
in the sequel. Yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, there's a, a bunch of these little gifts scattered throughout the world. These gifts, uh, nothing that'll affect your gameplay, but you get you can swag yourself out with different clothes. Dude, I don't know. That that beret is probably gonna. That, I mean, I'm, you're already looking way more artistic. What what other clothes have you unlocked during your expeditions here? Yeah, so let's uh, let's take a dip into our collection. Uh, we got this beret, a brim cap. We were wearing a cowboy hat. Howdy. Oh, that's a good kerchief. Love a kerchief. Strong kerchief game. Strong kerchief. Um, and overalls. you have your different uh, shirts and dresses and whatnot. And uh, we mentioned that, uh, I guess we didn't mention it now, but you can <laughs> uh, lock your specific color scheme. So say you like you like uh, the little puppy pizza rolls here being uh, this shade of, sure. of brown, yellow, brello. Brello, um, yeah, that's what it's called. <laughs> you can uh, lock it so you won't be affected by uh, you, yourself, the player, when you're haphazardly painting uh, the environment. Let's actually, while we're here, take a look at the map. Um, so we can see our art that we've created throughout the world here. Um, and like I mentioned, all of that is persistent and all of that will stay here unless you yourself erase it. Very cool. and, and that opens up some neat uh, like in-world stuff of like, hey, I remember that there was something a penis. Yeah, there was a, okay. Right yes, there. there was a penis there. Uh, <laughs> but there was something out of reach over here by the Yum Cave. Mm. Uh, in the world, you could make a note saying like, "Hey, like maybe there's something I need to get first before I can actually get the gift or get to a certain uh, route or whatever, like something like that." Um, but say you know you want to. All, all this paint is a little distracting. Just turn it off <gasps> and whatnot. Oh, okay. I thought you erased it. Jeez. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Uh, but yeah, let's, uh, let's keep trucking along here. Seek the nature of the brush. Okay. Need the pattern to unlock that. I hazard to guess it might be in here. There's another crack, Jan. Use that weird bubble. Okay. Uh... Oh, uncover what goes unseen. Okay. So would you say any of the, the puzzles in this game are like particularly tricky or, you know, I know this is your second time through, but, you know, th did you did you figure this stuff out pretty quick? I know you said you played like about 10, 12 hours by the time you'd almost finished it the first time. Yeah, uh, before I was like, nah, I don't want to finish this game. I'll do it again. <laughs> um, some of the puzzles have been a little challenging, I'll admit, um, but nothing too frustrating with that I'd, uh, I'd, I'd want to put the game down. Um, I believe I was near the end of the game and that I clocked in about like 10, 12 hours. Um, and a lot of that time was actually spent repaint. Oh, wait. Oh, wait a second. Oh. Uh, a lot of that time was spent repainting uh, the different levels, I guess, because some of them, some of them were a little bit of an eyesore. <laughs> Was, was that just for you, for you, or was that part of the game? Uh, that was that was mostly for me. Uh, you know what? Let's wear a good old black tee. Oh, thank you. Big fan of a black tee. Okay. All right. So there's something going on on the floor, maybe. Uh, painted that in. It was actually this temple that was probably the first um, stumbling block or first roadblock I had. Uh, well, hey, if you, if, if you don't want to show off some of that stuff, let's head back to the town. We can. Uh, yeah, you know what? Check. I won't. I won't show it off. But let's, uh, let's quickly. Oh, wait a second. This is turning into a guide video. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not quite a rambly guide video, but a pretty good. Oh. Okay. So. Uh, it's a tree. A tree. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, let's unlock that real quick. I think it was that. Let's get a little. And an X. X gonna give it to you. Was it? I thought it was. I thought it was. I should have taken. Took a picture. Sorry. Right, it's all right. It's all right. Uh, you can take a picture with your map here. Um, pop. Wow. Love that. And it's funny because you can change your. Do a little some screen effects. No, oh gosh. no. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, oh stop. Okay. Uh, change your poses. Let's see. <laughs> it's photo mode. I get it. That's cool. <laughs> okay. So dot 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 three. Yeah, I'm not gonna forget that. Uh, 
pop, 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 pop. There we go. Oh, that uh, noise. What if, what if what if the noises are a little bit too uh, moist for me, Jan? What a fantastic segue, Danny. Because let's uh, explore these options here. Uh, this game is full of like a lot of neat accessibility options. Um, I'm not saying that vertical sync or V-Sync is uh, -uh. an accessibility thing, but -uh. I like that they're just phrasing it, nuh-uh. Um, but yeah, so you can play this game mouse and keyboard or with controller, but say the paint sounds a little too splotchy. They might be gross yeah. to some folks. You could turn them off completely, but uh, it's not I, I, love, I love a good wet sound, so I love them. Yeah, me too. Uh, but on top of that, they're surprisingly boss fights in this game um, okay which maybe it may come at a little bit of a surprise to some folks so you can actually outright skip them or you can just be invulnerable so you can't fail uh at all and you can kind of just turn uh, off fall damage turn off fall damage huh interesting uh kind of just uh, zoom past them and, and enjoy the story and and the story by the way actually i've never tried this uh teleport to luncheon option Oh, you just like trigger it at any stage. It's an issue I have. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. All right, you just use your soul stone, I guess. <laughs> <Come> <laughs> yeah, I guess this is the barn star here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so this is uh, the beginning town. Um, we talked about this. I I talked about this in the bombcast, and I talked about this in the failed quick look. But this game surprisingly goes places. And given the the pedig pedigree of the developers, uh, I shouldn't have been surprised. But you know, okay, well, maybe we can get rid of it. Does it go some places, John? It it is definitely it, it goes places. Game, John? <laughs> yeah, it goes places, and I was not expecting it to. Um, you know, we alluded earlier that oh, pizza lemon. rolls goes through uh, imposter syndrome, but it, it also goes uh, tackles a bunch of issues like creative burnout, uh, not thinking, uh, facing like a roadblock like Chicory's doing, other mental health issues, right. and, and like uh, some other things you wouldn't think about, like, you know, familial relationships yeah. and whatnot. What if I uh, wanted to talk to my mom? What if this was all just getting a little bit too much for me? You know, and say we didn't know where to go, you can always call home, Danny. Um, and this, I honestly, this is one of my favorite things in the game. Um, the, the hint system is just your parents. Oh, hey, mom. Hey, mom. I love uh, what you've done with your um, color. Oh, wow. Oh, you yeah. know moms, always going through <laughs> no, different <right>. looks. <laughs> um, but yeah, like say you do get stuck, you know, and uh, there's actually parts in the game where I felt overwhelmed <laughs> as Pizza Rolls, the puppy here, that it actually what felt comforting and was comforting to talk to my parents, um, and that you know your well. mom, your mom will be uh, pretty vague with what she has to say. But your dad here <laughs> uh, really wants to chat with you. Hand me the phone. Okay, we'll we'll, we'll talk to pops here. Uh, your dad, if you want to, will just straight up give. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll just straight up give you the answer. No messing around. Just like, this is what you gotta do. Yeah. Two codes. Gotcha. Alright. Cool. Over-explaining like a like a good old dad would. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's a great line. Uh, Don't ask, yeah, no problem asking for help. Yeah, there's no problem asking for help. Um, <laughs> so this game is just full of stuff like that. Um, you know, certain random player characters will give you little quests or ask, have certain requests and they'll either, they can give you new clothing or they'll give you like a additional hint as to where to go. Uh, actually, it's, it's, it's a linear experience. You're, you're kind of going from quest to quest, opening up new towns, that type of thing. It's a fairly linear experience. Uh, I did do a little bit of backtracking to fulfill some, uh, quests. Like there isn't even like a formal quest system here uh, like tracking any of that uh, I think I, that I wish we got to show is um, the art classes in here and it's funny about how varied they get but uh, in your first art class you'll get access to these brush sets and these just act oh, cool. as you know, little stamps to yeah. help embellish the world um, 
know, actually, it works out that we're going into here. What's in here? Oh. No, whoa, whoa. Oh, boy. Gas pant. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> you also press C to get dressed. That's good. Um, yeah, I don't want to spoil too much of the game, but let's uh, pop in and help out this guy here. Let's help out Cola. Cola! What up, Cola? Yeah, I'd love to design a new shirt. Absolutely. Do you want a penis on it or not? Because, <laughs> uh, you know, it's a pretty high chance <laughs> it's going to be a, a penis. Oh, um, this is neat. This is neat. Yeah, so the, the game is full of little neat things like this where you will wind up designing something that will actually live in the world. Um, here, it's a little bit bare bones with what they let you do, but other, I guess, missions or little small quests will give you a, an expanded color set. Um, but what should we, uh, what should we, what should we design? I, I don't know. I've had that E3 Hype AF um, oh, there uh, shirt behind me for most of E3, so, you know, personally, that's where my, uh, that's where my loyalties lie. Hi. This is probably a lot trickier on the PlayStation. I would imagine. Uh, 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 you can't always erase stuff if you feel the need to be a perfectionist. A uh, F. I love it. What color yeah. are we gonna go for here on the I think on the sleeve maybe? I think we're stuck with black. Okay, okay, it's a black shirt, okay. <laughs> it does look great. Cola loves E3. Super hard to it. Elden Ring. Oh hell yeah, look at that. We're wearing it. Um, <laughs> and and you know, this game is just full of neat little touches like that. Um uh, and yourself like like spending time on one of these rooms. Like I can I can imagine myself spending like two or three minutes really getting this looking the way I want it to with the you you've like a limited color palette per tile as well, right? Yes, yeah. So depending on which city, world, or, or biome I guess you're in, your color palette will change. I think we can actually uh, show that off if we jump a couple screens to the right here. Okay. Um and Got, also, like a purple uh, violet a orange teal. or something. Yeah. yeah, this puke yellow. Um, <laughs> yeah, and you know, like we mentioned and we saw earlier, the painting is tied to a lot of the puzzles here. Like, for instance, these trees will shrink if they're painted in, but if we erase Whoa. the color, uh, they create a little walkway there. Let's uh, try and show off a couple. Okay, maybe this is a, a fool's That's errand. The wrong here. way. Uh, actually. And there's a, there's a bunch of collectibles scattered throughout the world. We saw a couple gifts, and um, there's some litter in the world that you will exchange for various things. But you I'll also find... That litter. You what also beans? find uh, lost children. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> wow, okay. It, it sure is the right thing to do, sure. Is that is Beans on the up and up here? We're, we're, we're happy handing these kids over to Beans? I think so. Okay. Oh, sick. Hell yeah. Sweet. This is just what I wear on a daily, you know? <laughs> oh, that's a good purr noise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to be skipping through the dialogue. No uh, worries. Here, but it's it's a lot it's a lot of good stuff and you know swap. Um, some of it uh, you'll think will wear out as welcome and you'll exhaust all the options but as you progress through the story generally most of the characters will have uh, additional things to say um, and yeah this is oh found a I'm kid. into it there's a lot of characters a lot of personality I like the names of things I like the names of people um, yeah I can see how this is a game that you were happy to sort of play through a second time because, yeah, the, 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 just the, the what, it's very interesting watching you play because you are just sort of, you're playing the game and painting at the same time. It's almost like two sides of your brain or something. It's like you're problem solving, but you're also like, you know, just splashing a bit of paint here and there. Yeah, it's, it's a, 
it's calming. And even when like the puzzles kind of get stressful, I, I don't feel overwhelmed. If anything, I felt overwhelmed with the story uh, about where it goes. Um, they, they also do have a content warning. So, you know, um, if if some stuff can be particularly heavy on 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 you, uh, I do suggest turning that on. Um, because, you know, it, 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 will, it does go get heavy. Um, and, you know, this is another thing that you unlock with a brush eventually, very early in the game. Uh, bioluminescence can light up Whoa. dark spaces here. Um, Ooh, I like the way music changed there, too. Also, does your brush get bigger when you set your stroke bigger? Yes. So, uh, <laughs> actually, yeah, it was something I didn't notice at first. Um, well, I swore it got, got bigger. I Oh, yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Yeah. Look at <laughs> That's that. Good. Move over, Cloud Strife. <laughs> a lot of neat touches in this. A lot of neat touches. Um, yeah, again, I'm playing this on Steam, but it's also available on PS4 and PS5. 20 smackaroos. Oh, wow. That's decent. Yeah, and, you know, I, I was about like 10, 12 hours in before I, um, I restarted my game. And I think I was near at the very end, so I do believe there's a lot of value there. Oh, hey, little Brussels sprout. Eh, we don't need to talk to you. Um, but yeah, this is the world of Aww. chicory. A lot of a lot of really neat things, and oh, pick up this trash. A lot of neat little touches. Uh, a lot of oh, keep we keep finding stuff, Danny. I know. Yeah, I just can't stop playing. All those collectibles, all those little quests, all these people to talk to. What's that dude's name? Who is that person? Basil. Oh, that's a good name for this guy. Well, I, I'm sure in the British version, in the you know European version, it's Basil. But don't worry about it. <laughs> um, this has been Chicory. I have been Jan. You have been Danny. Thanks. Hopefully that audio has been recorded. <laughs> oh, fig. Oh man. If not, I'm going to to dub. I'm going to pretend to to be you. I'm going to speak in a very poor Irish accent. <laughs> We'll just use our we'll just use our own math noises, eh? Yeah, there we go. I'll recreate. Oh, the pocket jacket! Oh, heck yeah, I'll wear that. Oh, uh, an another quick thing um, that I want to show off before we we go away here. Yeah. Um, to so say you really like the job you've done with the the scene here, right? Uh, and you've taken your time. You've kind of iterated on it a bunch. Uh, if you go to your yeah, map. Yeah, I like what you're doing. I like your style. Can you immortalize this in some way? Uh, you can take a picture of it, but you can also create a GIF here. Um, oh, cool. I won't do it now because it'll, it's going to pop out. It's uh, my desktop. Your social security number is going to come. <laughs> yeah, that's what my wall wallpaper is, so I don't forget. Okay. <laughs> um, but you can create a GIF of, um, you know, the uh, a time lapse of the current scene you're in. And, you know, it's, it's cool because it takes in every little brushstroke erasing stuff. Uh, that you do, and it, it's neat. pretty it's pretty neat. I also didn't realize this sticks into the sky. Hmm. Terrific. Well, that's chicory. A that's colorful chicory. tail. Yeah. If I reviewed games, I would give this five stars, but I don't. But take that as an unofficial thing. Thanks, Danny. Thanks, Jan. <laughs>